right here. Uh, I'm grateful so many folks came out for this swearing in. In particular, I want to thank the, it seems so lonely over there, uh, but Supervisor Dufty by himself uh, representing the Board of Supervisors. A big round of applause to Bevan for being here. We're grateful. I am thankful that a number of department heads are here at Peril. Uh, let me not recognize them, uh, but recognize their leader, uh, our uh, about to be reappointed CAO of the city, sort of the chief administrative officer of San Francisco, and that's Ed Lee, who's here. Thank you, Ed. Appreciate it. Uh, we're grateful uh, that you all have taken the time to be here. Uh, we are appointing people to various boards and commissions. You are familiar, I'm sure, with the good work at the Asian Art Commission uh, and how proud we are to have this remarkable institution that still has not gotten the recognition it deserves. Uh, it is remarkable around the rest of the world people talk about it, but not around our neighborhoods. We need to promote this extraordinary institution, which has the most comprehensive collection of Asian artifacts of any museum of its type in the United States of America. It is right there in your backyard. It is right there at the old main library building. Please promote it, not just the members of the board. Please talk about it, uh, not just members of the commission. Uh, please uh, encourage our students and our families to uh, celebrate the remarkable contributions of the Asian community, which really built this city in so many ways. Uh, and I'm proud that we'll be uh, appointing uh, some familiar faces uh, that uh, have done a lot to promote the Asian Art Museum, but have never been formally on the commission. And I'm pleased to be reappointing uh, Anthony Sun and Leslie Tang Schilling, uh, who have done an outstanding job and have been recognized and have been enthusiastically um, presented uh, to me for reappointment. Uh, so I'm grateful they're here. Uh, Timothy Kahn will be a new appointee. Uh, Goretti, I thought, Goretti, where is Goretti? I thought you were always on this board. You've been fundraising for them forever and doing great work. So now I get, you're on, I'm on YouTube. Well, let me, let me, let me, uh, let me thank everyone for the opportunity to be here. I, it's been an honor to serve as your mayor for seven glorious years. I, uh, thank you, Goretti. Please ask for permission next time. <laughs> no one else ever has. Don't go to YouTube and Google my name. Uh, but we're proud of Goretti and honored that she uh, will c continue now in a formal advocacy uh, fighting for uh, the Asian Art Museum. And Akiko, where are you? There you are down there. Thank you for doing this. Uh, we're blessed to have you, and you've been a steadfast supporter and promoter of the museum, and uh, we're very grateful you took. Uh, you are taking upon uh, this opportunity uh, and serving in a formal capacity on the board. So th this is a, trust me, you may not know these folks, it's an impressive group, uh, and the museum is honored to have them, and I'm very grateful we'll be appointing and reappointing uh, five folks to the commission. Uh, the Housing Authority, uh, everyone, you know, coulda, woulda, shoulda, sits on the sideline, I would, you know, all that, we know how it works, former supervisor, we all know, supervisor, former supervisor Brown, reverend, doctor, supervisor, uh, leader, reverend Brown, who's here uh, as our chair, he's, he's, I think, very enthusiastic that Veronica Honeycutt, Veronica, where'd you go? You were here, right here. Uh, is going to be serving. I, I love Veronica. She knows that. I've been a huge supporter for years, and I'm, I'm really grateful that you'll be serving on this commission. And uh, uh, Asha Safa, is that why all the purple shirts are here? Is that it? All the labor? I was wondering. Either you're protesting me or celebrating something, so I, I'm glad it's on this side. Uh, but all our friends at uh, Local 87, and they've long been my friends, at Local 87. I'm grateful you're here. And a lot of labor leaders are here, the Mazzola family, and uh, obviously 
uh, my great friend, the Teamsters, uh, the leaders of the Teamsters are here in formal capacity. Uh, we have the, the, the leader of our labor movement here in San Francisco as well, uh, all here to celebrate uh, Asha coming on board. And so I'm grateful that you'll be serving. Asha, there you are uh, on the Housing Authority Commission. Mayor's Disability Council, Roland Wong and Adele Wilson, Wendy James, Christine James, we're grateful you guys will be serving. Uh, we're blessed of the work we do uh, in the spirit of the Americans with Disability Act. We just celebrated a milestone of the ADA downstairs a few weeks ago, and uh, I see your leader, Susan Misner, here is doing great work and uh, leading by example. So I thank you guys for your willingness to contribute and continue on uh, and to serve on this council. And I appreciate the Board of Supervisors trying to right some wrongs down there at the chambers by making accessible our own uh, chambers. Uh, which is remarkable in 2010, Steve Kava, that we're doing that. Uh, Bart Murphy, I told Bart, I said, I don't know why, seriously. I know it's, it's patronizing, it becomes tongue in cheek, and it's always the throwaway line, and you have fun, say, why would anyone want to serve? But literally, why would anyone want to serve on the rent board? God bless Bart uh, for wanting to continue to serve on the rent board. And those of you on the rent board know what I mean, but God bless you as well. Uh, but they've held the line. There's not been this friction between tenants and landlords like we experienced in the past. There's always friction, but not like, you know, Tim, you remember those days, us versus them, labor. We've avoided all of that. And Bob Morales, you were around for those years as well. Don't act like you don't remember those years. Uh, so it's good, good that we, we, we are uh, holding the line. And Bart's been one of the guys doing that. So, Bart, thank you for serving. Uh, Bob Patterson, I've known Bob forever. Thank you, Bob, for your willingness to serve on the Small Business Commission. Uh, he's a guy who's uh, worked uh, for many, many years on behalf of small businesses, was a representative of a, uh, a very well-known business in San Francisco, kind of in his era of retirement, but wants to give back and is a good advocate. And, and uh, I'm really pleased, uh, Bob, you took my call uh, and uh, you said yes. Uh, thank you for that. On the TI, you know, one of uh, I was telling Larry Mazzola Jr., I said when I appointed him, I said, trust me, this is going to be one of the most exciting bodies and boards in our city because we finally got the conveyance from the Navy uh, with this private participation agreement, uh, private partnership, private public. In this case, it's public public partnership with the Navy and the city to revitalize Treasure Island. And that work will start next year. And it's going to be one of the most exciting infill developments in the history of this country. It'll be one of the greenest developments in this nation with foldable tanks and wind and cogeneration facilities, wastewater uh, project that will really rival anything we've seen in the country. And this is one of the most dynamic and exciting developments um, uh, that this country has ever uh, been afforded. And so the folks that I will mention, those that will be reappointed, Claudine Chang and John Evelyn uh, and Jean-Paul Samaha, they know you've been doing the drudgery work. Now you get to enjoy the actual work out there and rebuilding and revitalizing a neighborhood. Uh, it's a really exciting time. And I thought we'd have you be joined by Linda Richardson, a friend of mine who's always been out fighting for our diverse communities. And uh, she'll put a human face um, on the development, and I'm very blessed, Linda, you uh, said yes. So three reappointments that have done great work uh, and a new appointee that uh, will get us next level. So that's it, because I knew I was losing the audience there, Bevan. I was talking too much, especially the how, how many months? Seven-month-old. It's always hard to keep any audience besides the bottle uh, for a seven-month-old. Uh, but again, thank you all very much for taking the time to be here. Uh, and uh, I want to thank Steve Cobham, my chief of staff, and thank um, he's got some friends. And thank Matthew Godot for organizing all this and getting you all here. Thank you. Uh, so with that, why don't, we, uh, why don't we get to the formal part of the program? You can stand, you can sit, but all you have to do, uh, you have choice there, uh, is raise your right hand and repeat after me. 
If you'd like to stand, you can, but not everyone has to. And what I will do is I'll say I, and everyone will state their name individually. Claudine will go down the list. And then I'll say, and during such time as you hold the position of, and you'll say Treasurer Island Development Authority, and then we'll just go down. And then each one of you will, uh, will let us know what you'll be doing in a more public manner. You will all be serving longer than I will be serving here, so all I ask in closing is you return my phone call. Don't forget who I am. I've seen ex-mayors, you walk right past them to me. All right, I got some affirmative. Steve, they all said they would return my call. So this is a good group of people we've appointed. Vote your conscience. Do what you think is right. And remember, not everyone in the city is represented by the people that are in front of you. So don't forget, just because you're an organized special interest, and I love special interest because they're in the environment and labor movement, we got great special interests. But just because you're special interest doesn't mean that you represent everybody. Entire city you represent. Don't forget that. Veronica, yes, right. amen. amen. I hear you. <laughs> I. John Alberling. Veronica Honeycutt. <laughs> Do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties upon which I am about to enter. And during such time, as I hold the position as a member Well done. For the city and county of San Francisco. It's official. Round of applause.